how Lincoln learned to read was, I think I began researching this book, and one of the questions that struck me was that, how did Lincoln learn to read? It, it could be anybody, I suppose, but we all kind of assume something happens in childhood, and then these great people arrive, and then they're these successes, and I wanted to really focus on what is usually the first five pages of a biography, you know, and make a book out of it. How would you describe to the freshman here, or any student, um, whether they're a freshman, sophomore, or anyone outside of college, mm -hmm. what is it that we need to know? Yeah, they're gonna, I'm not going to have the answer for that. <laughs> um, you know, I'll turn that one back on you, which is that I think you go, uh, I'm a reporter, I, I'm kind of interested in journalism, what part of this attracts me? Why am I excited? Why do I feel like I need to know this? I certainly don't think there's a formula or particular advice you can give. Um, do we all need to know Latin? No. Do some people really need to know Latin? Yes, absolutely. And I think the, the process of getting there, trying to figure out what you need to know, uh, is the point in a lot of ways. Again, writing about folks who are long dead, it's easy to say, ah, Elvis Presley needed to know about gospel music. You know, uh, but I'm sure if you're Elvis Presley, age six, and you hear gospel, you, you don't go, this will be important in my development. You go, I love this. Wouldn't I like to be doing this? And that's true whether it's a math equation or uh, horseback riding or whatever it is, the passion of it.